This is Candy Apple TV with DIY Queen Diva. Honey child, today is Wednesday and I have a rush order of 20 candy apples for my smart, beautiful niece by Friday in both pink and yellow. I'm going to show you how to make a big batch of colored candy apples using one candy apple recipe and one candy apple pot. You want to test your colors because you don't want to get colors that are totally off like this. Honey child, my sister always talking about how she ain't got no money. She's always trying to get something for little nothing. But you know, I'm going to do this for my niece. This is my niece. Have you ever encountered a situation where a family member tries to get something for little or nothing? Comment down below and let me know. Now, is this fair? Let me know. Let me know. Let my sister know if this is fair because honey child, she's going to read these comments. Now I am using my candy apple cleaning method. Um, when I have over a dozen of candy apples, I usually use one cup of lemon juice, still one tablespoon of salt and two tablespoons of baking soda do not put this on the stove go ahead and stir this before you put it on the stove to avoid a spillover and once your water comes to a boil just dip your granny smith apples in your cleaning solution for six seconds make sure you have a paper towel and dry it off Pay close attention to the top because this is where bubbles form on candy apples. You want to make sure right here you dry your apples off well. When I have less than 12 candy apples, I use a fourth a cup of lemon juice. I am placing my rainbow straws over the candy apple sticks. When you hear this crunch right here, you know your Sticks and straws are inserted well into the apple. You can test it by shaking your apple to make sure when you dip your apples in the candy apple solution, they will not come off. Once I have inserted my wooden sticks and my paper straws for my candy apples, I dry off my apples one more time especially paying attention to the top of the apple to avoid bubbles on the top of the apple once you insert those wooden sticks and straws the apple juice pops out so you want to make sure you dry your apples off what candy apple recipe I will be using for a big batch of candy apples of 20 I will be using 641 candy apple recipe that's six cups of sugar four cups of water and one cup of Cairo my preference is Cairo you can use any light corn syrup that you choose How do you avoid thick candy apples? That's a question that I am always getting. Two things that can cause your candy apples to be thick. If your candy apple mixture is looking like this when you stir it throughout the entire process, if it's really thick and you can't stir it, that's one way you will know your candy apples will be thick. Now, if your candy apple mixture starts looking like this, let me show you. Using 641, your candy apple recipe will be fluid like this. So this means if your candy apple mixture is looking like this, your candy apples will be perfect. It will have the perfect crunch. If you add too much gel food coloring, your candy apples will come out thick. I am adding one and a half teaspoons of butter vanilla. I use butter vanilla because this is what I love and my customers, they do not even ask for strawberry, raspberry, watermelon, anything. It's always butter vanilla. I always use this, a candy thermometer. I do not let it touch the bottom of the pot. Let it come up midway and attach it to the back. 
of your candy apple pie. Now this is how you test your colors for candy apples. Get one cup of water and your gel food coloring. I'm gonna see if I can get pink and yellow in one batch or pretty much close to pink and yellow. So I know I have my pink here. I'm using Hobby Lobby's brand gel food coloring. All Hobby Lobby's gel food coloring. It's hard to come across Wilton's white icing, but I do have it in my Amazon bake shop. So, okay, this is my pink. Now I am going to add Hobby Lobby's lemon yellow. Okay, this will work because I don't want it. Let me try another way. Let me see something. Let me see if I can get a better yellow. So I'm going to add white and then I'm going to add lemon yellow first. Look at what happens. Okay, this is, of course, a perfect color. But if I do yellow first and then use the pink... Um, this is more like a peach color, so I'm not going to get yellow and pink, so I'm going to go with my first method. In order to get the correct color for your candy apples, you want to test your colors first to make color candy apples. My candy apple mixture is ready. How do you know when your candy apple syrup or candy apple mixture is ready? When your candy thermometer reaches 300 degrees, your candy apple mixture is ready. This is the neon pink that I am using first. I added my Hobby Lobby's bright white. Now I am adding the neon pink here just one drop remember do not add too much gel food coloring because if you do you will get thick candy apples stir this really well and make sure your candy apple mixture is blended well tilt your pot and dip your first 10 pink candy apples It's three o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. I spilled some candy underneath this pot. So you may see this pot stick to the paper. This is what happens when you are in a rush, especially at the last minute. Things just go wrong all the time. But thank God nothing went wrong tonight. Well, this morning.
Now, with all this shucking and jiving, you know you can get 12 candy apples dip taking your time using 6 for 1 candy apple recipe. Now, I'm doing a lot of shucking and jiving. It's the candy. <laughs> I spilled candy on the parchment paper, so the pot keeps sticking to the parchment paper. So I'm taking my time. I'm sleepy. So you know you can get 12 apples. And then I'm going to add lemon yellow to make the yellow to make 10 more candy apples. So there's no excuse with not being able to make 12 candy apples because you can get up to 24 candy apples using 6 for 1 candy apple recipe. I'm not going to hold you up. I know you guys got things to do, so I'm not going to hold you up and dip 10 more candy apples because I'm sleepy and I know I'm moving slow and I know you like, hurry up, darn, dang it. (laughs) So I'm going to speed this thing on up. Let's go ahead and get these candy apples bagged. And I made the tutus. I made 10 pink and 10 yellow tutus yesterday. I The way to bag your candy apples or when to bag your candy apples, I bag my candy apples right after I make every last one. So I'm done making all 20 candy apples. And I just go ahead and bag the candy apples by placing the candy apple inside my candy apple bag. All of the supplies is down in the description box. Um, The bags, the sticks, the straws, the material to make the tutus. Basically, you take your twist tie and you tie it on the back and attach it to the candy apple. Now, if you want to know or if you want to learn how to make tutus for your candy apples, just click on that link at the top of your screen. If you have enjoyed this candy apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next candy apple tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.